Let me show you what you can do if your Samsung Galaxy S25 and S25 Ultra has some overheating issues or maybe the battery life is complete garbage, maybe it runs out like very very fast. So first things first for overheating really uh, basically uh, there are some cases that actually like aren't very good with this phone so and cause a lot of problems for example if you have a very poor quality case they simply do not allow the phone to actually like cool off so these new s25 phones actually have very good vapor chamber so the cooling system is actually really good and for example on this unit i actually have zero problems so this video simply will be uh, if you have some problems so i'll show you some things that you can do first so uh, if you actually use a case you'll probably get the best and coolest phone and also what you have to remember if your phone actually uh, feels like very warm that also means that your battery will run out very fast so as basically uh, as cooler your phone is the less battery life it also will consume so that is general rule of thumb then also what we can do is if you use your phone in a direct sunlight i would avoid doing that because again it will actually heat up the phone and again make it run worse and again your battery life won't really be happy about that and also battery longevity also won't be really good also again if you run your phone at full brightness as well this also can obviously cause a lot of stress as well as obviously there's more power usage and again more overheating issues and obviously uh, less battery life also next thing we can go in the settings and simply go over here in the device care tab so first things first make sure to verify that you have enough storage because if you only have maybe like 5 or 10 gigabytes or even worse then your phone actually will struggle as it won't be able to do uh, very basic tasks and again it will overheat and will lag and again your battery due to this also will get worse as the phone can't properly function also same same thing for memory so check if you have decent amounts available and basically when we click over here we can actually like uh, check what's actually using our memory and maybe you can pinpoint some software or app that is actually like draining this so again you can easily find it over here and also you can click clean out to essentially like get rid of all this stuff that we probably do not need at the moment and then also over here on the performance profile i also highly suggest you to enable this light performance profile so again it won't completely max out your uh, this uh, cpu performance but again your phone will generally run much much cooler so i highly suggest to enable this if you have uh, some kind of uh, issues in this uh, stuff and then also a very obvious thing is uh, simply check if you simply maybe have like tons of different apps running in your background so again even if you minimize them over here they are still kind of running in the background and consuming some energy so again make sure from time to time to actually close that stuff but probably everyone already knows about this uh, then uh, really uh, probably the biggest thing that uh, can cause this if you can't really pinpoint what's actually causing this so if you see in your apps that everything is okay you have enough storage uh, you have enough ram and you do not have like crazy amounts of app installed and there's nothing obvious so maybe there's simply some virus on your phone so uh, maybe you have downloaded something by accident maybe you have installed some crypto miner uh, so that basically like um, steals all your performance of your phone and consumes all your uh, energy resources. maybe again that is a possibility who knows really um, where you have actually been and what uh, kind of like malware has been actually going on on this phone and then in the same device care tab click over here on diagnostics we can actually run a test uh, on all components of our phone and test what's actually going on so click this phone diagnostics and essentially it will go over one by one through all the uh, like components of our phone test them and see what actually might be wrong and maybe it can find some problems that is actually uh, yeah wrong with your phone but again uh, for this unit I'm, I'm not really seeing any problems whatsoever and it has been generally very reliable so i'm simply showing some tips if you maybe have some problem by the way also check how good is your network strength for example if you are using 5g but you actually do not see full bars and in general your network performance also is fairly poor then that simply means your phone is actually struggling a lot to actually connect to the tower and fetch data so that also consumes like crazy amount of battery so if you are in very poor reception so this can drain battery like absolutely crazy and again cause maybe some overheating issues 
um, so maybe not overheating but again the uh, battery drain will be huge actually if you use 5g in not the best area so i suggest you simply use 4g uh, as that obviously reaches much further and again it's much much power efficient as well by the way also i actually suggest you to actually restart your phone from time to time so maybe at least like every three or four days again it can like clean out any background junk that might be running in the background and finally again if you still can't figure what is going on again maybe again you have some virus that you can't detect we can simply go in a ma general management like save or date from the phone and simply do a hard reset on this phone so essentially it will return to the factory state and delete everything from this phone and it will be a fresh phone essentially so I think this is probably the best option if you uh, really can't figure out what's actually causing this and again if uh, there aren't any obvious things that are actually causing this so probably this is the best option for you anyway good luck